Hello, hello, hello. I'm gonna do some commentary for no apparent reason. Let's see. what I can do. Hopefully I get a good champion that I actually know how to play so my commentary is not completely shit. Um, I play mid usually. Traffic on forms which may cause a slow no, okay. So I hope stream's working. <laughs> Alright. Hopefully I get mid. Ah, let's see how this rolls. Playing a lot of Morgana recently. She's kind of fun. Hopefully, I can play a game of her in this one. Pretty good. Solid team fighter, mid game at least. Yeah, I should get mid unless. I get really unlucky. I don't believe I've seen any of these guys, so... So I got mid sweet. But that does mean I take away some guy's main. Which means we're down one guy pretty much. <laughs> start playing TF more. But I don't know about that. Doesn't seem very reliable on my part. Let's do this. <sighs> so, if he actually does play Ari, there's... She's not a hard counter for sure. She's very, very soft counter. The only reason why you would pick Ari versus Morgana is because you can escape from her ulti. 
escape is the key word there. So you're not going to be able to really be that aggressive unless, you know, that Mor the Morgana screws up of some sort. But Versanari, just passive farm or try to get a kill before level 6 is their best bet. Once you see level 6, unless you're completely fed and can burst her down, then it's kind of pointless to like flash in and ulti and whatnot. So I'd probably just, if I wanted to be aggressive, start roaming. Bot or top. Would be better. So playing versus Ari as Morgana is kind of boring, in my opinion. Another Cho Top. And Shivana versus Lee Sin. What a classic fight. Not sure which one wins in jungle. Because they don't jungle. Leona Graves versus Tark as. I'm not sure if that's the best, actually. Because Tark can just take away all your bonus armor as Leona. But Leona can give some great bursts, so I don't know about that. And she can lock down as pretty nice. Yeah, we should win bot. Hopefully this game starts and doesn't get dodged. That would be unfortunate. Hmm. Jason Lee sent up pretty breezer heavy with a short range Graves and a Leona. So it's going to be really easy for me to go in and ulti everyone. And just Sonya's or something. The only thing I have to be careful about is silence from Cho, which would be very, very unfortunate. That stuff's so annoying. My main goal is going to be versus Ari is farm passively, unless there's an opportunity like a Leafs and Gang to get a kill early, and roam if I can depending on the uh, opportunities. Hmm. Hopefully bot lane doesn't lose. That's the only thing that would make us lose this game right now, or is if uh, Cho gets snowball-y. That would suck too. That would suck a lot actually. You know what? Yeah, no lane. No lane lose, please. <laughs> mm. So Shivana with exhaust and Lee Sin with flash, so... Shivana counter ganks Lee Sin. Shivana's side should win. So that'd probably be her main focus, or counter jungling like crazy. There's only two options that we're going to see from that Shivana, most likely. You always want to start with Binding first, just for all circumstances, leashing, invading, even early level. If you get ganked, you have Bind, so you're good. Then you're going to want to max your W to level 3 first, and then start maxing out your Q. Because your W at level 3 can kill ranged minions at full health. And then you switch over to Q just for max damage. Because your Q, as it gets leveled up, the damage is so fucking good. So good for bursting an AD instead of uh, doing damage over time. 
30 seconds is convenient spawn. Just has a pretty long cooldown, so. That's why it does so much damage. Damn it. That would be awesome if we just picked up a kill easy. It'd be our, our red. Most likely to add our red. Because the Shivana with exhaust would love to stay red. So if we don't take this red, they're gonna take ours, and then we'll just be down one buff. Or what's happening here? No, nope, there they are. Oh well, she's dead. Dunsy onesy. Uh, that's pretty much game there. No, I'm just kidding. It's not game. I'll have my revenge. Oh shit! They're coming. That's not good. Without well, they just threw like crazy. That was really not worth it on their part. Just to mess up blue, they should have came with at least one more person to be confident. That was so dumb. And now I can push the lane, and she's going to be down in... Uh, XP and she's gonna be down in a uh, CS like that was so bad on their part We have like total lead right now I'll have my revenge. Are you serious? She's gonna try to gank me here. Holy shit, she does a lot Yeah, good good job on Shivana doing that Denying me some uh, pushing potential but I think her exhaust down if I'm right she probably could have killed me if her exhaust was up. I'm gonna get pull first just because she already ganked me, so I should be safe. And then I can pretty much dodge a, a charm. I feel confident in that. So. I usually don't want to waste all that mana as much fast as I am, but right now I'm pretty safe. And I could have gotten that CS pretty easily. I don't want to push to my turret either. And it looks like it was gonna turn that way. You want to get a uh, black shield at least one point in level three, just to uh, ensure that you're safe from ganks. Like Morgana is one of the safest picks, just because for because you have black shield and uh, you're good for any stuns coming out from the the jungle. You just pop off black shield and you're good. Or if you see a charm coming at you to set up from a four gank, pop on black shield. That's why Alistar jungle. I think it's hard oh, countered by a uh, Morgana mid. That was good. That was that was just that was just good. Spell shielded her charm, and then got right next to her so she couldn't dodge my Q. And I knew her flash was down because you know that whole thing early game. I'm just gonna want to push this out and then go back to base probably. And I I can spend mana and stuff like on just pushing because Ari's not here and I plan to go back to base so it should be fine. She has 10 CS. Yeah, uh, mid's gonna be really easy. I can probably even kill her at level six with my ulti and everything. She won't be able to get out in time. And once you have about three uh. 1,000 gold you can afford two double Dorn's rings, and then if you have a little bit more than that, you can get a couple potions or a award. Best best plan if you're Morgana. Play safe, farm 1,000 CS. Just go for it. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Good. I need to check to see if my shroud's level 2, so I can put another point in that, and I should be safe to uh, max out my Q next. So you only need that level 3 in uh, that spell for W. 
And then you can just focus on CSing the melee minions, like, not like that, obviously, because they just missed like four. And I got a ward for Wraith, so I can potentially be aggressive in uh, farming race since Ari's just so far behind. Yeah, she's like right there, I can even- oh shit. And what I want to do is dark find that Ari. Which, I don't know how that didn't happen, but... So I can't get charmed since I know I can just kite um, Shivana out. And I have movement speed quints, so... I know I can just run away from her pretty safely. So all I needed to do is lock down the Ari so I don't get charmed. They will suffer. So I warded their wraiths so I know where their jungle is, so I can um, do their wraith camp without, you know, like getting ganked by Shivana. It was a little bit risky to go that far though, usually I just want to ward um, right in the, uh, right here because I don't want to overextend and then have the jungler come from the side and just wreck me, but actually we could mess her up at red, since that ward was able to see that. Huh, she didn't. Weird. She didn't take a uh, red. Yeah, this is, we, we have complete control of jungle, like, it's not even close, because Arya's just so underleveled and so underfarmed that she can't even contest us in her jungle. And it seems that bot's uh, losing pretty bad, actually. Oh no, Grace has three kills, it's all good. So, I mean, even bot's winning, so we, we can do stuff like that and just get away with it nice and easy. I'm gonna start pushing just so I can try to get their race since I know that Shirotna is gonna just not be able to even kill me. So I wanna push my lane out first just so that she's busy CSing and maybe misses some TS since it's at their turret. Well, I can just get ahead and CS by farming their race. Which is down, so unfortunately for me. Can't get even farther ahead and CS. I wanna stay away from the wall because I don't know where they have wards. And Ari could just charm me out of nowhere. Hard to see it coming and react in time and whatnot. So I'm just gonna be farming again. Maybe I can land a binding or whatnot. Just for some poke. Get her scared again. I most likely won't get, get uh, killed from Shivana Gang, so I should be pretty safe. But, you know, you never know. Can't be too safe. Already set blue. So I'm gonna push this out as fast as I can. Even use spells since I have blue buff, it's all good. So now she hopefully misses a couple CS there. And now I can go get race over here. 70 to 50 CS, you know. Should be good. They will suck. Ari's gone, probably roaming bot. So I'm gonna go ahead and push again and then go bot. Yeah, I thought so. Ari's bot. So I'm gonna go ahead bot. Hopefully I can get there in time. Don't think so. Well, they had full warning, so I'm not really sure what happened there. Maybe I can snag a kill here. Please blue, preferably. Yeah, I'm dead. That was just bad on their part. They saw Ari in that bush, like, full well. And then they just was aggressive. For no reason. But, I mean, at least I snagged the kill, so it's all good. We both lost blue, so it was an even trade, too. And Lee Sin could push my lane.
because then Arya will miss more CS and we're just denying her like crazy. I'm gonna get some wards just so I can stop her from roaming. Because, you know, she's down in CS, she can't really stay in lane because I can just kill her easily. So, the next goal is just to try to roam. So, to try to accomplish something besides just getting zoned and whatnot. So if I war, then she roams and they just, they just, our bot lane would know that she's coming or our top lane would know that she's coming and then we'll be all good because then she'll just waste her time running down. I should probably go help that after I ward. Oh, that just sucks. Oh wow, he got away. Oh, oh, the ults. Okay, good. Dodged it. Uh, this is good. This is not good. Not good. Not good. Oh wow! He hit him. He hit him. What the fuck? Yeah, that's okay. That was my bad. Thought that we, they were gonna keep fighting that. It's fine. Whatever. Still worth it. I get a bit too ahead of myself sometimes. It was actually really bad. Lee should be helping defend this, because if we lose that mid lane, that's huge. They get tons of itching. That's bad. I need to get hourglass as fast as I can. Just because hourglass and Morgana is hell OP. Oh, I'm losing too much CS, like, it's not even funny. What the hell is he doing? I'm gonna try to delay him at least. Yeah, that's just bad. I don't think we're gonna win this one. Given a sample of their gameplay. And mine, of course. Since I'm doing pretty bad. If we can keep pushing ahead and getting drakes and not running over here, then we should be fine. Without mercy. I don't know why I keep roaming. Like, it's just a waste of time. I should just be out CSing him. Not letting him catch up and CS. I was ready to... to do a spell shield on that one, but she didn't charm. 23 seconds left. I just want to try to push. Try to avoid those, of course, but my, sp my passive should be fine on regening that. Sean is coming to gank, or does she have her ult? Sean has ult, Sean has ult. I'm gonna go down too. Just cause I know they won't survive that if they get Tower Dovin. That was bad. Oh, they're gonna try to do Dragon. If they do, that'd be bad on their part, cause we can totally just wreck this. Oh my god, I hit one person. Yeah, that was just terrible ulti on my part. That was terrible, I thought I could get- I thought I was in range. Wow, I hit that? Doesn't he have- she have three stacks? Yeah, that's what I thought. Unfortunately, though that did look really good, unfortunately it would have been much better if me or Graves got the kills. At least in falls off a bit late game. So does Morgana, but I mean Morgana has AoE damage, not as bad as Lee Sin. I mean, it was really good, and of course, I'm happy. But would have been extra. I'll have my revenge. Yeah, I'll I'll definitely have better ults later. <laughs> that was so bad. 
hit only Tarek, like the, the worst target you could only hit. <laughs> so bad. Uh, so lucky we still got Ez and everyone. I don't even know how I messed it up so bad. Oh my god, I'm just gonna get some, some more stuff. Can I get hourglass? Huh, I can. Usually I would really prefer getting boots first, but hourglass is just so good for team fights and everything. You can get right in the middle of everything. Man, it's all good. Now mid turret's almost down, so that's really bad. I want to have to take their mid as fast as I can. My main goal right now is not to roam anymore. It's just to, uh... Ooh. I mean, the Fed Lee Sin should win that. So, yeah, that's what I expected. And not what I expected again, and again, not what I expected. What are they doing? Okay, legendary, I'll take that. Now I can go ahead and push mid since everyone's dead on their team. And I know Ari can't stand it. Do anything versus me, especially with Hourglass. Pop the potion. For no reason. Just love popping the potions. You gotta get me that pot. You know what I mean? No. Alright, um, yeah, so I'm gonna turret, I don't even know where Ari is, she might be AFK just because she's so mad. I'm just kidding, I have no idea if she's mad or not. This game's looking actually pretty good. Leona at first blood was just all part of the plan, you know. Just go ahead and take a race, get even farther ahead. 125 CS, it's not bad, but it's, it's, it's bad, actually. I should be so much ahead of the Sari and CS. I should have been passive, but I guess I was roaming a lot, so. I think Ari is actually AFK, okay. holy shit. Like. Yeah, we can just take the blue. Oh, we should totally. Just uh, off. She's not coming. Not coming. We haven't seen Ari in a while, so I think she is actually okay. She's not the best example of um, ulting as Morgana so far, but you guys get the uh, yeah, I thought she was. There we go, here's a nice engagement. Oh, unfortunately, she ulted, which I should have expected, to be honest. Oh, fuck. What? How did that hit me? Wow. Wow. The plays, and we're gonna get a kill off of this? Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Maybe I can spell shield him. Give him a little extra beefiness first, that Ari. Trying to assassinate him. Dude, like, holy crap. How did we get away? How did I get away from that? Like, Lee Sin, number one. I'm honoring Lee Sin for sure. <laughs> one little trick for uh, most champions on like Ari, but um. If you can ulti when you're right next to them, even if they have flash, it won't get them out of range of the binding. So that's why you just want to keep moving forward towards them, because you will get them. And after after their your old procs on them, obviously you would ignite Q W. He's dead. Not really a trick. I mean, I'm, I'm sure most people know that, but for the one percent that doesn't know that, I mean. Just helpful in general. But I don't know, one percent makes it sound bad, but no, I'm, I'm actually trying to help here. <laughs> I'm gonna ward this again, because we have total dominance in a uh, jungle. I ult's up, so might as well push bot. Going 
Go, go, go! What the fuck? What the fuck? Nah, I don't need ult. I don't need ult. That's just a waste of an ulti. And then now we can do Drake since, you know, roaming is pretty good sometimes. But I wouldn't over roam like I'm doing now. I would consider this a little bit over roaming. But this game, we just have so much domination and control on their jungle and everything that why not? I'm ahead in CS, why not over roam? Help out the other lane a little bit. Damn, that was unfortunate. <laughs> oh, that's bad. We got Drake though, so should bounce out. I should have actually zoned I'm an idiot, fuck. I just wanted to queue that Ari. Should have just. I should. Mm. I don't know. I don't know if it was better for me to Sonya or to QRE. I actually just. Try to dodge those Qs as much as you can. If you dodge one choke you, like, he's done for the next, what, six, seven seconds? Bad Jace. Bad Jace. Oh, people be funny sometimes. Uh, I don't need this potion because my passive's OP. Might as well just get three wards since we're winning so much. Get more jungle control. More lane control. Keep up the farm. Ari's like 40 CS behind. I should be a lot more in CS, but I've been roaming, over roaming, like I said. So I should be a uh, should be an easy win in this one. I mean, we own a Morgana ult. We would have mid to late game. They would have super late game though. But I don't think we'll get to super late game. Actually, you know what, Graves? I think beats as late game, like super late game. Like 90 minutes in, and I get fine there. I don't know if I ult. I don't know. Should I ult? Uh, yeah, I'm ulting. Oh, son of a bitch. That's just unfortunate. That was just unfortunate. Oh my god, I swear to god, Shivana lives. Holy shit. Alright, yeah, this is throwing, actually. So I'm gonna stop doing that. Uh, uh, that's why I thought I shouldn't have ultied. <sighs> that was so bad. So bad. Alright. That was actually really, really bad. We could actually legitimately throw this game. And I don't, I don't mind not having kills either, just because we're gonna falls off pretty late game, so just being there and ulting and not dying like that will just carry the team. So, so I don't really need the kills. I mean, it's awesome to have kills, but don't need them to still have a great impact on the game. As long as your assists are way above your deaths, you should be a, a fair trade with your team. Should focus more on CSing now. I think we're being way too aggressive. We're getting a little too carried away here. We gotta continue CS. Um, should be a big battle soon. I can get wards, then we should be. Um, I'm not sure if that was an okay Q on that part. That was actually a pretty bad Q. That was actually really bad. More throws here. We're doing Drake. Now my ult's down. I mean, my flash is down, not my ult, but. Uh, we should probably want to stop this. Oh shit. Bad. So bad. Uh, 
I did as much as I could, you know. But this is legitimately thrown. It's gonna be so hard to recover from this. Right, never mind. You know what? I'm just gonna shut up because obviously it was that easy to recover from this. So you know what? Just stop judging me. Because I know all of you are judging me right now. Ah, <sighs> shit. I'm so bad. <laughs> oh, God. Did I get assists from that? I better have. God damn it. I'm so tired. Do you have your goals? That's so far, that should be enough. I'm just gonna ride on staff cap and then void staff is just my usual setup right now. Could change, but for now that's the only thing I know what to build. I never used to play Morgana that much. I've only recently started playing her. I used to have like a 25% win rate with Morgana. I've worked it up to about 55% right now. Within like two days, so. Pretty good. I like her, she's got great mid game potential. I would prefer to get the, the kills to an AD carry though. Almost every time versus me. Ah, it's just unfortunate, I'm dead. Disappointed about what's happening in this game. Not sure if it's completely my fault. Because it feels like it, but. Let's see how this one goes out. Still have above two for assist rate, so I should be like providing positive input to the team, so. Oh, that one kill is just. Death was just unfortunate. Should have shielded Leona, but I thought we were gonna engage and I thought I had my ulti, so shielded myself thinking we we're all gonna go in, but apparently the the idea was to let Leona die. Which we could have avoided just by uh, black shielding her. So I guess that was my bad. Black shields are really good if you know how to use it. And that I'm still learning out. This chase is really strong though with red buff. Great AD carry, you know. Um, could take an engagement, but a couple of them stop Baron buff, so I'm not sure how good that would be. I just should just charm. I mean, not charm. Not Ari. I have to black shield anyone that's about to be hit by a. Something, preferably the AD carry if they go after him. Probably want to make him CC proof. Yeah, this is bad, we're getting poked down like way too much. To the point where I don't think we can fight anymore. Always good to uh, let your teammates know that your flash is up. Just so they know like you can engage properly. Oh, fight? Is that what you're saying? Fight? Let's fight. Come on. Oh, there's two right there. Come on. Come on. Where are they? Fuck. I didn't need a Zonius there because they weren't focusing me down or CCing me. So that was actually... You don't want to just pop Zonius right away. See if I get that Dark Binding. Yeah, I did. And you got kicked away. Okay. Um, you don't want a Zonius like right away, cause, unless you're obviously like being the one super initiating and they have no, uh, just tons of burst or something, but you never want to just pop Zonius right when you ulti cause they can just walk right out of it. You just want to chase him up about a little bit until they turn to the side to try and kill you. Then that's when you want to pop Zonius. Um, I'm not sure about this. Ah, oh, I didn't get it fast enough. Yeah, we should definitely just leave, like, right now. 
I don't know why Jace is. Jace is just being really too aggressive here. And I'm completely out of mana, so can't really help him out there. That was a weird, weird initiation on Shrong there. No one was binder, so I, I really want to know what she was thinking there. I don't have enough for death cap yet. Could sell Dawn's Ring, but don't need to. I don't think another fight will happen that soon. I just need those wolves. And I should have cap. Still had an Ari and CS, yeah, so that's how bad we messed her up. Oh shit, they're, they're tunneling down the middle, which is good on them because we're all split. And I don't have death cap yet. Well, I'm sure they aren't pushing because of that reason, but unfortunate circumstances. I should have enough for death cap now. You know, I have moving sequence, so I can just run back to base from turret. That should be efficient. so they know I can't flash in because not everyone remembers your summoner spell cooldowns blue buff on chase I would actually prefer that chase with blue buff is just OP like I'm not gonna lie damage on your um, dark soil torment soil whatever doesn't even matter what I say. Um, damage is immediate, so you can last it pretty efficiently with it if you're about to miss a CS. Oh shit, that was bad actually. So they obviously know where we are, so I'm gonna go get a race and have my passive uh, spell vamp me a little bit. Yeah, I'm not like fall again, so I don't have to go all the way back to base because we have a disadvantage. So I actually want to wait for our engagement here, unless I can catch someone. Oh, I got Ari, but I don't think we can engage on that. Flashes in 30 seconds. Okay, I guess we're going in. I'm gonna zone is right there just because I know that it's okay for me to actually split them up. Now the team just cleans up everything, so it's all good. And I have flash now, which is awesome. I was able to take that engage without using flash. So that means if there's another fight, then it's all good. I don't know about that. Cho has lots of defense. He just doesn't have damage. So it's kind of just silencing and popping up. Oh, that's pretty much game though. We win. Well, I did nothing the whole game, but I hope it helped the tips. And <laughs> that was getting a little ahead of himself there, Lee Sin. It's the raid boss. It's down. I mean, items. I rolled a 99. I get the staff. I rolled a 999. That's what, not what I meant. See? Even Lee Sin recognizes that's awesome. But I still have flash. <laughs> Whoa, 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 Chase OP. Chase OP! Oh, I thought... <laughs> but Chase got another kill. <laughs> I was like, Chase OP! I still have Flash, so we can actually contest this. Oh, fuck, that was bad on my part. Oh, 
Oh, that's bad. God damn it. That was so bad. He had wards. Stunned me right when Black Shield was going to go down. Oh, the ult on Ez. Oh, the lockdown on Ez. GG. ADC getting caught. That's game, dude. That's fucking game. Holy fuck. What do I... Oh, uh, what is I gonna build? Oh, yeah, wait, that. That's a really good item. Help her in late game a bit. And then I'm just gonna go some AoE uh, or support items for Christ's sake, just because we don't need anything else. You guys should have hooked. I'm just kidding. I mean, surrender. Uh, doing Baron versus Cho kind of dangerous. It's like doing Baron with, against the Nunu. You know, they can consume and peace. I'd like to see a Nunu Cho team. That would be amazing. And then not, and then have an after jungler. Did we get Baron? Ha! That's game, dude. That's fucking game. Like, that's just game. Dude, I got carried so hard this game. Let's see if I can get this kill. Oh, I'm just freaking silence. It's not fair. That pops on his GG. GG will play. Hope this commentary actually helps someone instead of just watching me feed all the game. GG. GG, son. 299 is so lame, dude. Alright, bye bye.